Okay, let's get started. So right away, I see that we're going to read about how lemmings are cozy under the snow. It's fall in one of the coldest places on Earth, the Arctic. The ground is covered in thick snow. It looks like there are no animals around. And as I can see in this picture, that's exactly what it looks like, right? It looks cold, it looks snowy, and it looks like there's nothing around for miles. However, beneath the snow, a collared lemming rests in its cozy burrow. Now, one thing I notice is that burrow is in big black letters, right? Bolded letters. So if I click on it, burrow. I get a pop-up that tells me what it means. It's a hole in the ground made by an animal as a rabbit or fox for shelter or protection. That makes sense. We learned about those from Doug last week in our mystery science video. There, the small furry creature is protected from the freezing Arctic weather. And then this little bubble said, collared lemmings belong to a group of animals called rodents. This group includes mice, rats, and hamsters. Oh, so another really cool thing that you can start to do while you're reading is make connections to your real life, right? So when I hear the word hamster, I immediately think of a hamster that I had when I was in sixth grade. Her name was AJ. And so I think of that and I think how it reminds me of the lemming because AJ, the hamster, used to dig and burrow in her cage. I also notice when I look at this photo here that I can see that even though it's under the snow, there's lots of moss and grass. And that's kind of interesting to note because I would think it would be too cold for anything green to, to survive. I'm also wondering, how did they take this photograph? Right, Because it's underneath the snow. So I wonder how they took the photograph. An Arctic home. The Collard's Lemmings Arctic home is in the most northern part of the world. So when I hear that most northern part of the world, I immediately start thinking to myself, where exactly is that? And the cool thing about this book is that it shows me a map. So I can see here on the map where the lemming lives because it says that red means where Collard Lemmings live. And I can see that they're up at the top of these continents, right? the top of these land masses, and that's where these lemmings live, right? In the Arctic, temperatures can drop to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. That would be really cold. Lemmings live on a kind of land called tundra. Here's that bolded word again. Let's see what tundra means. Tundra. Tundra is a treeless plain, especially of Arctic regions, having a permanently, that means like forever, frozen layer below the surface soil and plant life made up mostly of mosses, lichens, herbs, and very small shrubs. Oh, well, maybe that's what I was seeing in the picture on the previous page. This flat, rocky land is buried under ice and snow for most of the year. No trees grow on the tundra, and only a few tough plants can survive there. Well, I would imagine they'd have to be tough if it's so cold, right? Here's a picture of a lemming, and it's pointing me to its pale fur around the neck. Oh, kind of like a collar. An adult lemming is about six inches or 15 centimeters long and weighs up to four ounces, 113 grams. It has pale fur around its neck that looks like a collar. That's how the animal got its name. Well, that makes sense. Okay, I didn't know that before. 